Hi, welcome back. This was definitely not arting on my lunch minute. <laughs> this was arting after work on Christmas Eve. So you guys have been working so much. I told my kids I wasn't going to make any handmade gifts. And oh no, <laughs> you should have, you have no idea the sort of like disappointment I received. So I decided I'd try to go for it. So I had gotten these small canvas bags. They were sent to, they sent them to small shop owners and they came from American Express. I washed them and now I'm just putting a coat of gesso on them. I think generally if I had the time, I would have put more than one coat of gesso, but seeing as it's Christmas Eve and I'm, and I've already worked a whole long day, I am just putting one and you can see the, whatever the print was behind it on the bags, but you know what? It's all good. So I used a sponge brush, applied as much gesso as I could to this raw washed canvas bag. It's like a really thick piece of cardboard in between inside of it so that, you know, if I'm painting both sides of the surfaces, they won't stick together. I did use a heat gun to dry it. And, you know, any shortcut I could do because it was, after all, Christmas Eve. <laughs> so I'm using very inexpensive uh, acrylic paint. And I actually painted three of them. And I used, um, I think, just really inexpensive brush and a gift card to, to paint on. So handmade in our family has been a tradition since my kids were little. And I have to say, over the years, it's been a really fun tradition to continue. So my kids really expect, they expect at least me to make them something handmade. So here I am, always at the last minute doing it, right? <laughs> I will say, use that, um, you know, the color shift paint, and I really enjoyed it. And it did come out really, really good on this canvas bags. It held up really well. I was, I was actually surprised. So after I painted all three bags and dried them all, I invited my hottie, my sweetheart. I actually I begged him <laughs> to come and draw on the bags. He is, he can draw anything. And we had, they expect us, our kids expect us to give them, both of us, to make them something handmade. So this one was kind of a, a joint effort. And I'm grateful. Otherwise, it probably wouldn't have, it wouldn't have been as successful as it was. So he drew um, our, our, our little cat on paper first as a mock-up, and then he's drawing her with a Sharpie marker directly onto the bag. And her name is Charlotte. She, all of our pets were given their names by our our sweet girl, our, our youngest daughter, who's 13, but she was about, I think, about seven when we, when Charlotte came into our world. She was a rescue kitty. She was a little feral cat, a little tiny kitten. We had to feed her from a bottle. She's a very sweet cat. So over the years, you know, it has been our tradition since our children were born to give handmade. And when they were little, you know, we would make gifts with them to give other people and to give each other. And sometimes it was simply, you know, if they didn't have time, it was simply just a handmade card with a really heartfelt sentiment. But over the years, it's been really sweet to see how they really expect that tradition and how they value it. Um, you know, like, for instance, our 13-year-old, they had a secret Santa at school. And she opted to make her partner, whoever she got, she made him a tray of brownies. And I know that may not sound like a lot, but for a 13-year-old boy, getting a huge tray of brownies all on his own, he was very happy. And she made the box that they went in, and she made him a card. So I was very proud of her. So they really value handmade, and they put a lot of thought into it. Over the years, they've made each other some really fun things. 
but as they've gotten older, we all sort of just go back to the tradition of even making ornaments. So we try to make one every year for each other. And you know, ornaments you can make virtually from nothing. So we have our Christmas trees are all filled with ornaments that we've made each other over the years, which is a very sweet tradition as well. So I did shoot this video on Christmas Eve, but I didn't get to the editing and the voiceover into, until today. But the gifts were received very, very well. Everyone, everyone, everyone enjoyed them and they thought they were, they thought they were sweet. And a few of our children managed to make gifts for us this year as well. One of them made some really beautiful handmade jewelry. And one of them painted me a portrait of my mom. And I loved it. It made me cry. And one of our children made us uh, like a good luck talisman, like a good luck charm. That was very sweet. So now he's drawing our dog, Charlie, also named by our, by our youngest daughter, Charlotte and Charlie. I've made so when I think back of all the things I've made for my kids and my family over the years it's been I don't know I've made them all kinds of things one year I even made everyone in our family including our extending you know the extended family silk pajamas I have no idea what I was thinking about or what got into my mind then but I made them silk pajamas and then I dyed them I hand dyed these silk pajamas that I made everyone. And they were all varying different styles depending upon their body type. You know, you know me, go big or go home. <laughs> so I was really happy that my hottie said yes to helping me do these bags or was agreeable to a collaboration because I frankly, you guys, I wouldn't have gotten any, you know, knowing that he was going to help me really pushed me to finish it and get it done. Plus, you know, it took me, like, I don't know how long to paint it all for it to all dry, even though I used a heat gun. And it, he comes in and draws everything in, like, ten minutes. So, <laughs> anyway, it was good. I had all kinds of paperwork to do after work anyway. So I was doing paperwork, and he was drawing. One year I made my kids, and you have to realize they're all varying ages, Christmas tree skirts, you know, for the time when they would have their own holidays and their own... And at that time, one of our children was really into penguins. So her Christmas tree skirt is penguins in all various Christmas scenes. <laughs> so he's just using a regular Sharpie marker to draw on the bag. Um, I did go and buy him a couple of new ones because when you draw on canvas, a painted, uh, acrylic painted canvas, is sort of rough. And, you know, when you're drawing over and over again, it can smash the end of the, the tip of your of your marker, so just keep that in mind if you choose to do this, too. Now he's drawing our rabbit. We have a dog, a cat, and a rabbit, and the rabbit is, guess what the rabbit's name is? Carl's. The rabbit's name is Carl's Michi. Yes, also named by our youngest child. He's about five years old. The cat's about, I don't know, seven or eight, and the dog we've had a couple of years. So she kept that tradition of those C names. Well, now you guys get to see two of the three. I retrieved two for this video. The third, I, d I wasn't, I didn't plan it well enough to grab the back, that one back from her. So now you can see it started out as this small shop bag from American Express. And now it's a painted shopping bag with our cat, Charlotte, and our dog, Charlie, and our bunny, Carl's. And they all loved them. Well, I hope this inspires you to think outside the box for your Christmas gifts and to enjoy handmade. And as always, until next time, from my heart to your heart, I'm sending you so, so, so much aloha. Happy New Year. <laughs>